Um, you referenced a number of times being miserable. Hmm. So I wondered, how do you cope with that? Like, what's on your iPod? You know, how do you how do you cope with being miserable? How do you cope with the? You know, do you have like a whole rucksack full of Cliff Bars? You know, when the food gets really bad. And obviously, I can I can guess why it's worth it in the end. But how do you cope with it in in the moment? Um, well, the, the worst one of the worst trips we had. The best and the, usually there's an old Grateful Dead song. The, the, you know, the best days are the hardest days. And um, one of the, the most difficult trips I had was in Iran, and we had a really tough time out there. And we were getting arrested, and it was wintertime, and it was really miserable. The food was terrible. And, um, and we had this crew, and they, they, after, after a while, they kind, of, they kind of got it. that like, here was this crazy son of a gun who was risking his life to take pictures of the landscape and thought it was this really beautiful place. And they kind of they got that. And then they saw it, like, I was flying out in that area with the rocket range, and I had a really bad wreck out there. I got caught in high winds, and my motor got all bent up, and I land fixed it up, and I was all scabbed up and bleeding. I put a bandage on, I went flying the next morning. The next morning, I had a bad takeoff, and I landed, and I broke three fingers. One of my fingers was dislocated <laughs> like that. So I, went, I straightened it out, straightened them all out, and I took off again. Because we, we were in the military rocket range, and we only had so many days, and this was it. I mean, we spent all this effort to get there, and it's like, it's showtime. So they saw that, they're like, this guy, is, he's really crazy. But he's, he's not crazy like he's trying to kill himself. He's crazy for a picture. And they saw that, that seriousness. And they responded. And they started doing crazy stuff for me, too, like yelling at the, the, the you know, revolutionary guards to get 13 cars for us to go out in the Dashti loot. And you get this teamwork. And every time we get arrested, these guys, they're really great. You know, I had a, it was the first time I had an iPod on a trip. And the theme song for that trip was the theme song from Mission Impossible. And they, 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 there was some kind of dub version they watched in Iran. They called it Mission. So every time we were under arrest or it was like we go by a cop car, they all started saying, we could go to a checkpoint where they want to see our passports. They all started saying, Mission, Mission, Mission. So we put on the, the, you know, the, that theme song, Mission Impossible. And it was, it was like this game, can we get away from the cops? And they knew their government's crazy and stupid, and they were trying to get around it too. So you, you build this kind of teamwork. And I think the flying, it really helps. They, they look up and they see like, you know, even the villagers, they see like, who is that crazy guy? It's like, you know, they don't, they're usually the, they kind of say, is he, is he threatening? Should I shoot him or should I wave? And I wave and then they wave back and then they invite you in for tea. And it's that kind of trip. <laughs> there's an old saying that's like, there's, a, there's kind of a, a power to believe you can do something. If you vividly imagine you can do something, it, it's possible. And they respond to that. And it, 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 it crosses, you know, Chinese, Iranian, all language barriers. They get it.